Air one. So we're just getting my back to Colonel Nippon! My god, you're the pound. We're already done with it. Alright, yeah, I, as I said before, I got problems, guys. But you know what? I don't give a crap. Okay. Now, I was at a... Oh, yeah, a third day. So now we're moving on to the third day without doing any weird stuff. So let's load this up. And we are going to... Freeze. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. Um, we're going to go to Ginza, I think. Because here's what I'm thinking. I think I... I forget if I said this last gameplay. It's been, like, years since I played it. Um... If I were to go to Ikebukuro, it would be Akira taking me there, and then I'd be going on her route again, and then I'd go to Yokohama, have her run away from me and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go to Ginza and get the Makoto route. So we're going to go to Ginza. Alright, I had not gone to Ginza. The only time I was in Ginza was like at the train station, like to get off or whatever. Actually, I didn't even get off there, I don't think. Alright, anyway, let me shut up. I think I'd like to go here. Wow. What? That place is known as Japan's upper class district. In other words, I'll be showing you around today. Anyway, get your things ready and we'll go. Now hang on a sec, I don't know why the thing is... Hold on, let me, let me fix this. Because the text is doing the whole... That stuff. Upper class district? What could it be? This should be fun. Um, so as I'm fixing... No, I don't want the log. Man, why is this... Why is this being slow today? I don't know if that did that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the thingy... It's doing a little creepy text show up thing. Does that even make any sense? I don't know. Alright, so this is today's destination. Ginza. So this is the place we'll be touring today. Ginza. Alright. So we'll take a look at Ginza. Now oh, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. I just noticed something. She was talking. It was like she was moving her mouth. Is that new? Because it said it was. Steam was updating for some reason. Did they update this game? Oh snap! Okay. Anyway, there's the little clock thing. Well, was it Seiko? Is that what it says? Seiko? Like, the like corpse party? I think I made that reference before. Seiko! Seiko! Okay. We got higher. We got Rico. That's what my dad called me. That's my nickname because my little name's Richard. Rico, Rich. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I haven't been down here before. Mainly because there wasn't really much to do. As far as I knew, because I played this game before. And it took it that I didn't really need to go here. Alright, Ginza. Yes, Ginza is famous in Tokyo as home to many high class stores. Now I, okay, I know why she's moving her mouth. Because I got the little text thing going on. I gotta fix that, hold on. I'm gonna do it. Oh, here we go. Wow. There we go. Okay, now I fixed it. The gin in Ginza means silver. <laughs> oh, so I could be a gin, ki a gin uh, cheesecake. I screwed that up, sorry. Over 200 years ago, in the Edo period, Ginza was a place where they minted coins. That's why it was called Ginza. Ah, oh, I see. So it's full of upper-class shops, even in the era of the samurai, huh? Not exactly. Huh? During that period, the shopping district was primarily next door, in Ninhonbashi, where it was now a business town. Ginza itself was more of an artisan's town. I remember Nihonbashi from, uh, was one of the station names as well. Really? Then when did it take the form we know today? You might know this, but during the era of the Samurai, Japan closed its borders to other countries. That lasted until 150 years ago, when the Shogun lost pa political control. As foreign relations began again, the people of Japan were terrified. They were shocked to think that such technologically advanced countries existed out beyond the sea. 150 years ago was around the time of the American Civil War, and the World's Fair in Paris. Yes, seeing that Japan worked so hard to see that it wouldn't lose its... It, uh, sorry. ...in technology and influence to those foreign countries. Around that time, two great fires swept through the Ginza area. Nearly all the buildings at the time were made of wood, so naturally the whole area was burned to nothing. It was sad, obviously. But the people of the day were determined not to let things end with that. They took to the Japanese proverb, Wazawai tenjite fuku no, fukuto uh, nasu, which means, when bad things happen to you, you make the best of them. The people took those words to heart and used the culture and technology of those foreign countries to rebuild Ginza from the ashes. They took the opportunity to develop the new Ginza as years went by. Before long, department stores and theaters appeared, 
and people began to flock to it as the cutting edge shopping district in Japan. I see. You're saying that Ginza was the first modern shopping district in Japan. Something like that. Even now, large shopping districts throughout Japan are referred to as the Ginza of X. They're all named after Tokyo's Ginza. Wow. Now that she mentioned it, the buildings around here do kind of have a retro feel to them. Must be a remnant of that era. Ah, there's one more point of interest here. Point of interest? What is it? You, you'll see it if you check a map of Tokyo after you get home, but you'll notice that Ginza is southeast of Tokyo Station, and it feels quite far inland. But 300 years ago, it was a wetland. A wetland? Here? Are you saying that this place used to be by the ocean? That's right. The ocean used to run up against Ginza's eastern side. They filled it in 300 years ago. Oh, okay, they filled it 300 years ago. And used to reclaim land for a fish market that became very famous. I didn't know that. When you look at it now, it's hard to believe it was ever coastal land. Right? To the east of here, across the Sumida River, there's an area known as Tsukushima that was also reclaimed from the ocean. So if Tokyo's shape was changed 300 years ago by reclaiming land from the ocean, you could call it a man-made city. That's about right. It's almost like the city of water of Venice. <laughs> That's right. Here I go making comparisons. Long ago, Tokyo was full of canals, which were used for shipping the majority of goods. Even now, many of those rivers remain as subterranean drainage. When you think about it, I guess Tokyo is a city of water. A lot like Venice. Tokyo, a city of water. But please, please Tokyo, do not sink. Anyway, as long as we're here, we should have a look at Ranginza. Sure. I do not want Tokyo to sink. Ginza. I say Ginza like that because that's how they said it at the station. Looks like such a modern city with all these buildings everywhere. Long ago, it was right by the ocean, full of canals, full of boats, hauling things everywhere. When you think about it, Tokyo is such an exotic city. Canals, water. Oh, that's right, I have to pee, right? <laughs> about 100 years ago, when Ginza was striving to become a leading business town, they say that just walking around Ginza was a sign of status. What the heck? Maybe it's because we were talking about water, but suddenly I have to piss. I mean, go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, guys. It was to the point where they coined the term Ginbora. But it doesn't look like there are any public toilets around here. Oh, you might have heard this, but the Bura in Ginbora comes from the word Bura Bura Sura, which means to walk around aimlessly. <laughs> that sounds like something I do all the time. Mm. What? Hey, what's wrong? Are you listening? Ah, sorry. I really need to use the restroom for a while now. Huh? Have you been holding it in this whole time? No, well, I... <laughs> don't worry about it. We can use a bathroom in that department store. Sure, let's do that. Ah, uh, but I don't know if I can pay. I don't have any small change. Even in Ginza, they don't charge people for using the bathroom. You won't need change. Ah, I see. Yes, I don't think there are any bathrooms in Japan that charge you to use them. But when you have to go, a department store or supermarket is your best bet. I see. This is no time for lengthy explanations. I gotta hit up the toilet in that department store, so wait for me. Take your time. I probably said this in the last GoGo -Go Nippon, but what the heck kind of place charges you to use their bathroom? For real, that would be such a douchey thing to do. I'm, I'm serious, like, who would do that? Like, I mean, obviously, you know, it, you know, department stores aren't there for the sake of people using them as bathrooms. But I mean, come on. Would somebody really charge you to use their bathroom? I mean, like, what if you, what if you don't have anything? You know, if, if, like, somebody charged me, if I really had to go and somebody charged me at the department store, I'd be like, alright, well, you're gonna be my bathroom, and I would just, like, pee everywhere. And then probably get arrested. So maybe I wouldn't do that. But, that's probably a little too much information for you guys. I apologize. Whew! Yeah. It really did shock me. I can't believe even department store toilets have that auto-wash function. And the water in the boys' urinals is set to flow automatically. Japan puts an amazing amount of effort into their toilets. Sorry. Or, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you waiting. You didn't. Don't worry about it. You're so nice, Makoto. More importantly, where do you want to go now? Would you like to walk around Ginza some more? Hmm, let me see. I've been walking around for a while, but this all feels out of my league. I knew you said it was an upper-class district. <laughs> district, I apologize, guys. <laughs> Am I still thinking about pig? Okay, and the stores are all clearly high-class brands. Hmm, I see. In that case, let's travel a bit further out, shall we? Sure, that sounds good. In that case, where could we go? I know, over there. 
Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited, but do you even know where we're going? Obviously not, but I know I'm in good hands with you, Makoto. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? N nothing Nothing at all. Anyway, let's go. Sure. I have no tact. I have no tact. I have no game at all. Well, here we are. This is Tokyo Tower, right? This is Japan's second tallest building, Tokyo Tower. All right. So I didn't get to see Tokyo Tower, obviously, because I didn't go to Ginza. But it looks pretty cool. The, the sky tree is freaking awesome, though. I think we'll see that later. Not in this episode, but later in... Okay, you bought in version 2015! Alright. So yeah, it looks like the Eiffel Tower. Let's see what else is here. People walking. Having a good old time. Buying their Gucci and Prada. Okay. This is Tokyo Tower. Yes, 333 mil er, <laughs> millimeters. That's not very tall. Meters tall. It was constructed in 1958, so it's been the symbol of Tokyo for about 50 years. It's a tourist spot, but it's also a broadcast tower. Unfortunately, a new broadcast tower, the Tokyo Sky Tree, has stolen the title of the tallest in Japan from it. However, in spite of that, I think Tokyo Tower will remain a symbol of Tokyo. A symbol of Tokyo? I see. Incidentally, they say the total number of visitors to Tokyo Tower is over 160 million. 160 million? That many? Yes. That's how beloved the building is. I wasn't one of those visitors. I'm sorry, guys. Tokyo Tower. To be honest, I've been wanting to see it for myself. Wow, really? Yeah. You've seen a lot in Japanese anime and movies. True. It's the setting for a lot of dramas, and there are even songs about it. That's right. I've even seen it destroyed before. <laughs> but, I see. So this is Tokyo Tower. What shall we do? Shall we go inside? Yeah. As long as we're here, let's go on in. Woo. It was fun. The view from the observation deck was amazing, and the look down window was quite fun. All the buildings around us seemed so close. Definitely felt like we were in the right in the middle of Tokyo. There used to be a wax museum in Tokyo Tower that had sculptures of famous people. It was one of Tokyo Tower's main attractions that ran for 43 years, but it's closed down now. They have a new one Odaiba. in Odaiba. So maybe we can go there if you're interested. I am totally interested. Huh? A wax museum? Why do they have something like that at a tower? Well, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm good for today. I'm satisfied that I got to see Tokyo scenery with you, Makoto. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Let's go home, then. Okay, let's go. Interesting. So I remember in the last GoGo -Go Nippon, there's a there's a clip, and I guess maybe th that's what they're referring to, like it closed down. But there's a part where Makoto says, like, you can see her being uneasy. And it's because, I guess there's like a... A torture device exhibit that used to be there um, I would have to look back at it again but I, I noticed that's a major difference between this and uh, the last one and like she was she was really uneasy about seeing the torture devices uh, but anyway let's keep rolling all right so this is the dinner part right hold on did I see this part yet oh yeah I did I did hold on. all right so now this is uh, Kyoto. So the only thing that changes on the routes is that instead of Akira talking to you on the train when you go back, Makoto does. So, <laughs> but what? Nothing. You you just er, you look so serious. I was just wondering what you were thinking. Oh, I was thinking that I'd like to come back to Kyoto sometime again. Again? Yeah, maybe together. Together with Akira or. If me. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. What was that? Why'd she have to ask me something so nerve-wracking? She must be exhausted. Hmm? Aki-chan, look, she's already asleep. Oh, so she is. Hey, what do you think of Akira? What do I think? Do you think she's cute? Well, sometimes she gets mad at me. But yeah. That's part of her charm. I think she's a very pretty girl. Akira's way of expressing herself is very awkward, but it's honest, you know. When she doesn't like something, she gets upset. When she's happy, well, she sometimes gets mad to hide her embarrassment, but she's still easy to read. Yeah, I think she's a really straightforward girl when it comes to her feelings. Right? She's always been that way. 
In doing so, she brings happiness to the people around her, and they love her for it. But... But... But I'm different. Different. Yes, unlike Akia, I have always had a hard time saying what I really think. Ever since I was a child, I've had a hard time putting what I think into f and feel into words. It, is that so? It's hard to believe given the way Makoto teases me, but... But that's probably not what Makoto's talking about. I think I've always wanted to be seen as an honor student. So I was always thinking, what should I do to be liked by the people around me? How should I act? What should I say to them? Ever since I was a child, that's all I've ever thought about. And when I did, the people around me would all say, she's such a good girl. Makoto is a good girl. Makoto's so responsible. Makoto would never do something like that. That's how I wanted things to be. I longed for it, and just like I had hoped for, that's how everyone eventually saw me. But... But because of all that, I've become afraid of expressing myself honestly. Makoto... I'm very selfish, aren't I? When I look at Akira, I can't help but think, if only I could be more honest. If only I could say what I'm thinking and feeling without worrying about what people around me might think. I suppose to a foreigner like you, Worrying about this sort of thing seems laughable, but I'm not laughing. Huh? It's not funny to me at all. You're obviously really worried about it, aren't you? I would never laugh at you for that. But while I won't laugh, I do think you're worrying too much. Huh? Well, I think there's only one way you can set your worries at ease. You just need to express your feelings as honestly as you can, right? But, but if I do that, everyone will be disappointed in me. If the people who loved me for so long came to hate me, when I think about it that way, I just... It's okay, that won't happen. Even if you express your true feelings, and even if it changes how people may think of you, I don't think anyone will criticize you for it. And they wouldn't hate you either. Because you're... You're an amazing person, Makoto. So no one could ever hate you, Makoto. I guarantee it. I guess... That a guarantee from something you barely know it doesn't really mean much, but but I can promise you one thing. Even though on the off chance other people might come to hate you, I I never will. It's a promise that I'll never hate you. That's gotta mean a lot, huh? Huh? Did I say something weird? I always say stuff that's weird. N no, not at all. I was just a little surprised. Surprised? Why? Well, it's just. This is the first time anyone's ever said that to my face. Huh? Really? I thought you hear that kind of thing all the time. That's not true. In fact, I've never been asked out before. No way! It's true. I've had people hit on me, but... But at school, the boys wouldn't even come up and talk to me. So I was always surrounded by girls. I wonder if they found her harder to approach because she's so pretty. But that's probably not so important now. Honesty, huh? Huh? N nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, thank you. Because of you, perhaps I'll be able to be more honest from now on. No, I'm sure I will. Oh no, I didn't do anything. That's not true. I owe all this to you. To you. So, thank you. Really. Uh, Makoto's smile just now was really... Hmm? Oh, nothing. Um, I'm glad I could help. What am I gonna do? I think without realizing it, I've... Oh. The last Gogo Nippon, there's a part where she says my name, and I just, I wanted to say it again. Taira-san. Okay, I'm sorry. Although I think it would be Taira-chan, because I'm younger, maybe. I don't know, am I younger? I don't know. Has Makoto aged since the last Gogo Nippon? Oh, uh, that's the question. Okay, so I think, oh. Taraima. Taraima, you're on beat. Even if you're only gone for one night, coming back from a trip really makes you appreciate home. Ah, I know how you feel. Okay. Oh, uh, I think this is the same. Yeah. Alright. Oh, crud. I skipped it too much. Okay. So, me talking about who I'm going to go with next. Alright. Makoto. Sh sure. Come on in. My voice didn't crack, by the way, Makoto. I I'm sorry. I know you must be tired. Ah, no, it's fine. I'm not even in bed yet. I see. Makoto, what could she want at this time of night? Listen, there's something I need to ask you. Sure. Um, you said earlier that you hadn't decided where you wanted to go next. 
Ah, yeah, I still have them. In that case, I... What do you think of getting out of Tokyo and seeing Kamakura? Kamakura? Yes, and I come along with you, of course. What do you think? Um, uh, it's fine if you don't want to go. Please don't force yourself. N not at all. I want to. I totally want to. I'd be thrilled to go over there with you. Really? Yeah, Kamakura, you said. Let's go have a look. Uh, um, sh sure. Kamakura, then. I'm sorry I'm being so... Huh? N nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Sure, got it. I can get up at the same time as always, right? Yes, that's just fine. Alright, 11 o'clock. Woo! Gotcha, I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, I am too. So, good night. Good night. Phew. I said I wanted to go, but I honestly don't know a thing about Kamakura. Except I do. <laughs> but I don't mind going at all. Because it's less about where I want to go than who I go there with. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is my last day to take a trip with Makoto. I hope it'll be a good day. It actually will be. As far as I know. If, that, if nothing's changed. Alright. Well, I gotta end it there. Next episode, we're going to Kamakuta. And we're gonna go ring, ring, ring a bell. I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't spoil it for you guys. If you haven't seen the first... Go go Nippon. So, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And as always, peace!